Hello friend, welcome to my YouTube channel CAD Engineer. In this part, we are going to learn how to create transition joint. We'll go to Start, Shapes, Generative Shape Design. Let's add a name, Transition Zone, and click OK. Here we're going to create a sketch. So take a sketch tool, select XY plane. I'll take center rectangle here, specify the origin, and we'll specify the dimension now. We'll specify the horizontal distance to 20 inches, zoom out, vertical distance 10 inches, exit. Now we'll convert this sketch into surface, we'll use fill surface method. Select this, do OK. We'll hide the sketch. Now we'll add the boundaries on this. To add the boundaries, we'll double click on the boundary tool so we can add continue the boundaries. Here we'll select the type to no propagation method. Now we'll select one by one and do OK. Now cancel it. Now let me create some planes. We'll take plane tool. We'll select this plane. I'll taking a distance of 0 0.787 inches and do OK. I'll take one more plane, plane option. We'll select that plane. Now I'll specify the distance 3.5 inches. Do OK. Now I'm going to add lines with the help of this plane. So we're going to use intersection method. We'll select this plane, select this surface and do OK. We'll repeat this procedure. Take a command, select plane, select surface and do OK. Now we'll go to mechanical design and composite designs. Now we'll activate composite parameters. We'll click on composite parameter. Add materials, click on three dots, go to composite folder, we'll select this catalog and open. We'll select all the materials, so we'll press shift button, select the last material and do OK. So all the material has been added and do OK. So once the material will be added, it's become green symbol here. Now we'll define zone group, we'll click on the zone group. Here we'll select the surface, we'll right click here, we'll create one access system. So we're taking the access system on the origin, do OK and do OK. Now we'll create zones. So we'll click on zone tool. So here name zone one, adding in zone group one, we'll define the geometry details. So it's showing contour 33. We'll specify the contour 33 in this box. We'll specify this is my zone one. So here we have successfully selected it. So it's coming in green color. Let's do OK. So zone 1 has been created. Now we're going to create zone 2. We'll click on zone. We'll select this line, this line, and this line, and this line. And do OK. So I have added zone 1 and zone 2. Now I want to define the transition zone. We'll click on the transition zone. So this is my transition zone area that is coming under zone 1. So here we have to specify in which the transition zone is coming. We'll select the zone 1. Now we'll specify the contour of transition zone. We'll select all the lines one by one and do OK. So here we can see the transition zone has been created. Now let's define the laminates for each zones. Let's go to zone 1. We'll double click on that. Go to laminates. Let's take a material. Now we'll specify the how many plies be required in each direction. So I'll specify here 2, 2, 2 and 2 here and do OK. Let's define the plies for zone 2. We'll select the material. So here I'm giving 4, 6, 4 and 2 and do OK. So we have defined the laminate. When we have multiple zones and transition zones, we have to make a connection between them. For that, we'll use connection generator. So here we have that tool or we'll go to insert We'll find here connection generator. We'll click on this tool. We'll select all these options. We'll select here zone group one, apply, do OK. So here we can see the connection has been generated. Now we are going to create plies from the zones. So we'll go to the option plies creation from zones. We'll select zone group one and we'll choose create plies in new group and create plies from zone with taper. Let's do OK. So here, We'll got the plies, we'll got total 16 plies. To see the representation of plies, we'll use ply exploder. We'll go to ply exploder. We'll select the representation. Let's see the first in the shell constant offset apply. So we can see 
how the representation is showing. So this representation is not required. We'll change our representation. We're taking draft tessellated surface representation. Apply. So this is a proper representation of our surfaces. So here we can see the applied dropout. Let's reduce the scale and let's see. I'll put here scale and apply. So this is actual scale of our plies. Let's do okay. 